You look like a bomb bug then. <laughs> Bit of a uh, bit of a jaffer that one, <laughs> but uh, yeah, caused a bit of a stir. But um, you know what day is. But uh, yeah, that's that's all right. We'll move on quickly then. Um, so I've had a really productive day today. Absolutely mad. Um, so I've been scrubbing underneath the wheel arches. I've had the aqua blaster back under the arches, um, smashing all that mud out of the um, that, that Stone Age mud from last week. Um, getting it all clear. What it, it wasn't believe it or not it wasn't that bad obviously we w after we left Stonehenge we went for a bit of rain so it probably uh, a lot of it probably ejected off so that's all cool um so yeah big style getting into the wheels again um washing all the little crevices out with the aqua blaster um yeah so uh look at them wheels looking pretty darn nice so that's that all nicely washed up and uh, even managed to get a smack of polish around in a couple of places and uh, the onslaught now for spring is upon us so that's all right anyway back inside the motorhome caroline you can see that the change of color at the back it's gone blue so um Come on then, let's, let's show you. So we had one little misdemeanor really. Um, so we ended up with regular size. See, see the bottom uh, pillow uh, that was supposed to have a blue cover on it, uh, which we ended up with just like regular size pillowcase covers and they're king size um, pillows, so which we overlooked that. But um, as for the color, we're pretty happy. This is the uh, the Morris and Co. And uh, oh, we got our, um, we've re-fluffied up. We've re-fluffied up. We got rid of the um, the sort of uh, grey one that we had in the middle. So we're back to the um, nice white one, making it a little bit lighter. But um, look at this bedding. It's looking good and uh, it feels absolutely amazing this bedding comes in um, little bag like little uh, the same color material little like linen bags so you can um, keep it folded up and uh, yeah, tuck it away. Like Caroline says, if if you were going for like a longer period of time, you could like stow it away and uh, do a quick, like a swap around on bedding if you wanted to. But um, this bedding is pretty luxurious. Look at this. Let's check out the little uh, flower detail on there. But um, yeah, uh, what do you think? We're pretty chuffed with it. To be fair, it's absolutely changed it again in here uh, this is so since we've had this van we are only on bedding set number three <laughs> um, is that um, a lot or is that not a lot but um, so bedding set number three and and um, yeah this time um, so yeah we're gonna hopefully get them blue pillowcases for the king size pillows and uh, we sometimes have like a little um, cushion on the uh, on the front there but um, the ones we've got at the moment for summer are not that well matched so i think we're just going to leave it maybe open we always uh, tend to um like have to move the pillows uh, down you know down to the front end um so they'll go down the front front when because because what do you do with a pillow do you you know sort of like yeah we just have them on the bed because they look pretty <laughs> and then move them um yeah but anyway so we caroline's been in here absolutely cleaned everything the these new mats are down now we had the blue ones before so we've gone back to these kind of like um a bit of brown fleck in these ones look so it's uh, really looking super nice down here now and uh, yeah just looking back up through the van i just can't get enough of this um this bed and it just makes so much difference doesn't it just uh, it's a game changer but so anyway back down this end um i've been uh i've sort of been cleaning all my pedals uh in around the the dashboard i've done the windscreen um yeah it's looking i like my mats super nice and clean look uh cleaned all the pedal rubbers and um yeah it's it's yeah getting 
getting back to the way we like it. So uh, yeah, it's all looking uh, rather nice. And then we've got our new Nespresso machine sat up on the top there, um, which I've just plonked up there for a second to uh, show you guys how it's looking. Um, Oh, the other little thing I'll do, I'll come back to the coffee machine in a minute, and a little bit of a tidy up uh, with the cutter. So here in this compartment here, I had um, a lot of cables um, for the TV, for this AveTech, uh, that were uh, a little bit untidy, to be honest, gathering a lot of dust down here, and uh, sort of probably using up a lot of um, space that uh, we can probably utilize in uh, another way. So I've still got the remote in there and another pair of sunglasses, but... Um, yeah, and then our uh, gas tester as well. But um, I've th I've actually put it, put the leads in a bag and tucked them out of the way in another location. Um, so that's tidied that little area up nicely. And uh, so yeah, back to this coffee machine. Um, we were a little bit um, worried that it wasn't going to go in our lower drawer that we normally stow it away but I've taken it out again now it's all it's it goes in there all good it packs away nicely so uh, again that nice little bin in there so um, you can you can keep it nicely wiped out and stuff if um, if you get any drips of coffee um, but um, yeah I thought I'd get a uh, Mo Hotel Adventures D-Day sticker on it just to uh, put our brand on it that kind of thing but um, yeah there it is look what do you think? It's looking rather rosy, <laughs> to say the least. It does come in other colours, but we like that Ferrari red, just to, uh, yeah, make a bit of change. Um, so, yeah, I've been, so, oh, yeah. So, obviously, these capsules now are bigger. And remember our little uh, capsule holder in the Bursner? Well, that has become now um, kind of redundant. Um, so, yeah, we haven't. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll have a think about that one. Um, we'll have a little think about that. These magnetic strips would actually cover there. So, if we wanted to uh, extend the magnets. Um, more glasses, more cups. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, so uh, but we've utilised our little cube Nespresso box that we had our little previous capsules in. So that's going to be um, pretty useful. Although um, yeah, we've we've got a lot more capsules up there now. Um, so we're going to uh, utilise maybe one of these uh, bins up here. Uh, there's the um, the big boxes up here. Uh, so it's taken up a lot of uh, space up there. But uh, we can't live without our coffee and uh, we're going to probably utilise one of these bins up here. Uh, one of our pastor bins. It's empty at the moment. Um, yeah, so um, it's all looking pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we got more bloody capsules down here, actually. They give you this like introduction box, like, so they give you a uh, almost like a just so you can go through and um, test which ones that uh, you like, your favorites, and get your favorites and whatever you want to do. But they're all nice and colorful, look. But um, yeah, we'll um, probably eject them out of this box and then uh, get them in one of them pasta boxes up there out of the way. But um, yeah, it's all nice and um, nice and neat. All nice and uh, Nespresso friendly. We've got some nice chocks there as well look, that we actually picked up from Nespresso. They're going to be nice. Um, yeah, so we're actually getting prepped up really um, for the France trip. Um, yeah. Oh, I got to. So, oh, so we're just going to demonstrate. Um, so I've got my nice little Italian espresso cups out because I love these. They're so nice. And I, was, I was actually having a look at them earlier on, and that's a kind of a bit of a bit of a Frenchy look. So uh, it's going to go really nice on there, and uh, yeah, that's going to look cool. And uh, let's look forward to some absolutely great tasting coffee. In fact, a bit of a colour match there. Um, yeah, let's look forward to some great tasting coffee in Francais. So, uh, yeah. 
there you go guys just showing you that one we had a little um play around with it earlier on we actually um uh, tried a capsule out and it's great tasting coffee immense so we'll see how that pans out we've still got our milk frother that will sit down here on the uh, the surface and uh, yeah it just sits up there really nice on the camper board again um right so i'm going to move back down here because i'm i don't know whether um so we got these uh, ritual car remember the other day in the ritual shop at bristol so these are our little um refills and uh, on my dash um there is the actual holder so that comes out of there yeah so uh, all it is is just a little tiny thing like that and then oh these have been here for absolute eternity oh my god they're all uh, they're absolutely dried right out look so let's see what we get in this box they're lovely little boxes look at that look so let's get rid of that one and then this one there is our new haman now this am i going to open it i think i'm going to do it because these do last a long time there it goes look look at that oh i can smell it already oh my goodness me that does smell good in she goes oh look at that oh yes oh i can smell it already oh so not that that is the scent of our French Bon Voyage. Ah, oh, yes. That is so nice. So addictive. I love this stuff. So that is the one we've uh, got there. It's the Rituals of Haman. And uh, they look good on the dash. I think they look really nice as well. They just look uh, really nice. That little kind of like wood effect on there. Like, just it uh, makes your dash look nice and uh, once that air starts coming but although i can s smell it straight away you can it's just like straight away and, th and these things last a long time and um yeah i just i just love it i absolutely love it brilliant stuff if you haven't tried it guys um they might be a little bit expensive but well worth it actually um said to me as well uh have you got enough like euros so i'm like i'll double check as well thing is obviously now with my camping car park um card preloaded card that i was showing you guys yesterday you're probably not going to use so much of this stuff but it's always handy there's me look, with my big bin of uh so what <laughs> we end up with loads and i'm uh, when i'm at the payage in france and place like that i'm normally out groveling around on the floor picking up i'm like these p uh, french people are just so generous they leave a lot of this lying around by the um the payment bin but on the payage so joffy being um, a little bit tight and all the rest of it he goes out sort of having a rum rummage around but um yeah we've still got um, plenty of euros on at the moment to be honest so um yeah and you know what we're like we take our food so we don't like we don't end up this this is like i haven't actually <laughs> so i can't remember the last time i went and actually uh, the bureau to do exchange and actually uh, well i'm normally in mns and uh, normally get me euros in there but to be honest um yeah how much do you need to take i don't know but it's easy enough to get some euros anyway but um i've got enough to be going on with which is all good news so i think the uh we're getting on we're getting on now we're getting sorted out um what was we going to do now i was going to tell you guys that i need to actually get my passports sorted out as well because i've uh, i've not got them in the van at the moment and uh, you've got to remember your passports the most important thing and uh, so i've got my little dock wallet with um my uh registration document in um i've got my um insurance in there uh which obviously you get a lot of that uh, um 
in documents that you can carry on your phone now, which is not a bad thing, so just to back it up. But uh, we've never had much of an issue with that. Guys, hopefully it'll continue. Um, we don't normally get any problems whatsoever. We've never had any issues. We've been like, you know, we've been traveling um, Europe for quite a long time now, uh, over the years, and, uh, you know, and fingers crossed, um, just uh, um, take it easy, go steady, and um, yeah. Never had a problem, never had any issues. That's brilliant. So um, there we go, we're, we're just on the edge. And uh, so preparations now, um, yeah, we've uh, done a lot of preparations today and uh, well happy. So I'm gonna tuck this little Nespresso machine back in the box and uh, probably call it a day for today. Oh, look at that nasty rain again. Damn rain. So um, there it is look, in the box, in my bottom drawer. And uh, that is the milk frother, little motor thing that will sit in there as well. And then we got the, um, the little uh, drip tray that will just tuck in there as well. So it just sto stows away in there. And uh, we were saying that it actually feels a bit more firmer than the other one. So there's not gonna be any rattles. Um, so yeah. We're uh, absolutely chuffed to pieces with our uh, upgraded coffee machine and um, all tucked away nice and neat in the drawer down the bottom. How nice is that? There is another mat there under my heater, look. The same colour as the, the other one we've got in here matching. Um, but um, yeah, we're pretty... Uh, oh, forgot one thing. Water container. Where does that go, Joffy? Uh, let's see if we can find a little spot for that. We did have it in here earlier on, so I think he just goes at the back. Joffy! <laughs> yeah, there he goes. He goes in there. So it's just getting into the rhythm, getting into the rhythm, putting it away. And uh, yeah, once we get the rhythm going, that's perfect. Look at that. Off she goes in the drawer. So there we go, guys. That'll do, just uh, a little update of um, what we've been up to today. Um, so I'm off in to have my tea and rip this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you um, like the video and keep on watching our videos. Thanks for everybody who's watching our videos. Um, it's not all about racing bomb bugs at Santa Pod, you know. <laughs> we do have some motor home adventures occasionally. So I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for watching the video and we will catch you as ever pretty darn soon. Catch you later.